As a next step in the nonprofit success pack, and especially for the volunteer section, one thing you're going to want to modify are some existing fields that came with the package. In a series of three videos, this one's going to talk about modifying an existing field. Then we're going to talk about creating new fields. And then we're going to do a deep dive to pick lists. For this example, we're going to talk about volunteer skills, which is going to show up in two places. One in leads, which are people that are have expressed interest but haven't yet volunteered. And then contacts are people that uh, have volunteered and there's some history associated with them. And uh, for this, this interest pick list, it actually needs to be consistent across these two. Uh, so we're going to need to change it both places. But let me start looking with um, uh, on the leads tab. In this case, let's look at, at, at Brian. And what we're going to see is that if we scroll down, um, he's expressed an interest in a couple here. So the, the pick list is, is, are these choices right now? If we want to select multiple activities by holding down the control key, we can we can do that. So uh, this gives me a sense of, of the, the options that are available to me right now. And the same is true, for example, for volunteer availability. Uh, those are also need to be changed to, uh, to, to, to fit your organization. So I'm just going to click save at this point, just so we have something there. Now, if I want to change, what I need to do is to go out to the setup page. And the setup page gives me access to all of the, the, the objects and fields that we want to take a look at. In this case, we're going to go after the object manager. This shows us the objects that are available. And if we want to change, it, again, we could change lead or contact. So if we want to change lead, what happens is it brings it up here, and we're able to select it and take a look at the lead object manager. Uh, and the same way we can look here at the fields and relationships. And what that does is to show us what fields are available to us. So we want to go after the volunteer fields. In this case, we talked about availability and also volunteer skills. Note that there's this other tab on the right. And if we click on that, we have an edit. But that actually doesn't get us to the pick list. It actually is just the high level information about this kind of field. But if we want to get to the, to the pick list itself, we have to go in on, on this label. The pick list settings are down below. And so what we're going to do is to scroll down to the actual values. Uh, what we want to do is to create a new value. And in this case, I want to call it Salesforce and save that. What you're going to see is that it's going to add it to the bottom of the list. So if we want to, we need to reorder it and move it up. And so we're going to say just up, up to here, let's say. We can also create a default value. In other words, if we create a new record, what information do we want it to have as a default? We can also click here, and it will automatically alphabetize a, a, a pick list. But at this point, I'm just going to click Save. It's going to show that we've now got Salesforce as an option. And if I go back and take a look at our contact Brian and refresh him, because now we have a new field that we need to look at, what we do is want to just confirm that, in fact, if we click here, what we do have is Salesforce. We knew that worked. So we basically added a, uh, a new pick list value. Thanks for watching.